think you would agree Shanghai is one of the wealthier, more modern parts of China. As you see China developing, you see traditional markets, to some extent, in some parts of China, fading away. Supply chains become longer. Large companies play a bigger role. The refrigerator, the refrigerator plays a new role in the food supply chain, so things can sit around for longer. Uh, do you wonder that a lot of Chinese food will become bad in the way that American food has become bad? And if that happens, will it come to Shanghai first? Or are you more optimistic than that? I, I think you can see all these things happening, and it is very sad. So, um, for example, you know, restaurants that I knew, I mean, it, this is in Chengdu, mm. restaurants where they made all their dumplings from scratch, like maybe 15, 20 different kinds every day, now will buy some of them in ready prepared. Um, supermarket stock, sort of easy um, seasoning packets to make mapu dofu, <laughs> you know, this kind of thing. Um, so, and then in the cities, there's a huge loss of cooking skills. Young professionals often rely on their parents to cook for the children at home. And they, the middle generation, are not learning traditional cookery. They're not learning how to pickle and cure. So there's all this being lost. Um, and people, you know, they, they lead more hectic lives and they are increasingly eating ready prepared food. So, um, I, I think you can see that China is going down the same sad path as the rest of us in some ways. But the thing that gives me hope is that, you know, in China, food is understood so deeply as the foundation of kind of health and happiness. And it has been a culture that is so obsessed with food. And they have this wonderful resource that I hope people will sort of, um, I mean, some people are now getting to the point of kind of looking at, at Chinese food as a kind of cultural artifact and something valuable to be preserved, you know?